to be here praising your name for all that you have done for us. You have kept us through this week and you have kept us through our whole lives. You have demonstrated to us <clears throat> that you are hearing our prayer like you did for Elijah and Mount Carmel. You demonstrated that you heard the spirit because you completely destroyed the sacrifice. <clears throat> Father God, I am asking you to remember all of us. All of us, we are all your children and we are all in need of prayer. I ask you, God, to remember Pastor who lost his good friend this week. Father God, we all know that death is a part of living but when it happens to us, it's a terrible thing. And I am asking you to help him to continue living. Father God, today, <clears throat> we are about to witness the greatest demonstration of love for us in the baptism. And we ask you, God, to be here. Be here. Be with us, worship with us, and worship with those candidates as they go down in the water and come up. Father God, I ask you to be with all of us. Strengthen us, even the prayers I don't remember, but you heard them. I ask you to be with all of us today. Help us to enjoy this service, I pray thee. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Working? Okay. Good morning, church. Um, as we know, uh, the month of March is Women's History Month. And so Origin and the women of um, Origin are joining the ranks of those celebrating influential Christian women. So today I just want to take a moment to um, celebrate the life of a remarkable woman that has expanded the kingdom of God. Her name is Paulina Diamini. And her, hist her story is not just one of inspiration, but also one that is used, should be used as a guide for Christian women today, seeking to make a difference in the world today. Paulina Diamini is a woman of faith who lived in South Africa during a time of great social and political turmoil. Despite facing immense challenges, she remained steadfast in her commitment to Christ and his mission. Paulina was known for her unwavering faith, her compassion to, to others, and her tireless effort in spreading the gospel. Paulina exempt, exemplified faithfulness. She clung to her faith in God, even in time of adversity. Her life is a testament to the power of unwavering trust in God, no matter what the circumstances. She embodied, I'm sorry, she embodied courage as she boldly proclaimed the gospel even when it was dangerous for her to do so. Her bravery serves as an example for us to navigate our own challenges and obstacles in sharing the love of Christ with others. Paulina demonstrated love and compassion towards those around her. She cared 
for the marginalized, for the oppressed, and for the abused, showing the love of Christ through her service. Paulina was also a woman of prayer. She understood the importance of seeking God's guidance and strength in all things. Her prayer life was a foundation for her ministry, enabling her to persevere in the face of opposition. So of women of God, we should strive to apply these to our lives. So just like Paulina, I want to encourage each and every woman here today to be a woman of faith, one that trusts God solely. Be a woman of courage, one that boldly speaks and acts in God's way. Be a woman of love, one that shows compassion and love for others. And lastly, be a woman of prayer. Pray like your life depended on it. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing this morning? We have a baptism today. Are we excited for that? Amen. Praise the Lord. So happy to see you all out there. And we are just overjoyed for worship this morning. God deserves our worship. Amen. God deserves our worship. That's all he asks of us. That's all he asks of us. So as we lift our voices to him, we're singing for a party of one. We're worshiping for a party of one. It's not for your neighbor. It's not for us up here. It is for a party of one. Amen. And he deserves our greatest worship.
every knee will bow down every knee will bow down every tongue will come back and we felt like things were shifting back there as well and I don't know if you really know the lyrics or paid attention to the lyrics that were happening just now but we're calling in the Holy Spirit to be in this place we're not just calling our friend next door we're saying Holy Spirit come down heaven open what does that look like? That looks like worship to me. That looks like praise, glory, honor to our great Father. So when the Holy Spirit moves in this place, 
You have nothing else to do but say glory, 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 holy, 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 worthy, 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 honor, honor, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory God. Our God deserves our highest praise. And when the atmosphere shifts, chains are broken. When the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, chains are broken. We are no longer the same. This morning we're witnessing people who have chains that have been broken. Who have said, God, I want your Holy Spirit in my life to reign supreme. And are declaring it before the Lord. They're no longer slaves to the world that they were in before. They're breaking free. And if you can't celebrate that, I don't know what. So let's give God some glory this morning. As he's released, he's releasing us. He's releasing us. Thank you, God. I'm no longer slave to fear, for I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear, for I am a child. Chosen me. 